So here's a quick introduction to the use of Google Drive. Um, the Language Center has uh, a domain within Google called Warwick Language. And this enables us to use storage um, under Google Apps for Education and to use our Chromebooks through it and also to collaborate and create documents. It's a very easy way to collaborate. So I'm going to show you what you would need to do to take advantage of a Google Apps for Education account. Once you've um, had a Google Apps for Education account set up for you, you will get um, an email address. And th that is simply your IT services user code followed by Warwick Language, which is our domain, and then gmail.com. Oh, sorry, no, Warwick Language, org.uk. So your email address for your Google Apps for Education will be in that format. You'll then put in your password and sign in. Now what you can see here is a collection of documents that I've created and shared and these are collaborative documents that I'm working with um, other members of staff on. You can see that I've got options on the top left hand side here to create a new document and if I choose that I've got lots of different types of documents that I can create. So let's create, create um, a Google Word document if you like. And I will show you that once I do that, I get a new untitled document. If I click on untitled document, I can give it a name. And then I'm simply typing into here. So let's put our ideas together. So this is simply word processing. I've got all the normal things that I would expect to see in a Word document. Now this is quite a nice flexible space to collaboratively share and work on building up um, text that perhaps at some point you'll agree on and then produce the final version. So how do you do that collaborative part? Well, clicking on the share button here on the right hand side gives me the opportunity to add different people's email addresses and to add them to my um, sharing. So they will then get an email that invites them to come and share the document with me. Also at the top, if I prefer to, I can just copy the URL to this document and email it as a link. But clearly if you're working within the Warwick language domain in Apps for Education, then you'll actually start to see quite quickly the names of other collaborators within that domain come up. So it will auto complete very quickly. So if I were to share this with Claude, for example, as soon as I put the first two letters of her name, then I could see Claude appear and I could select her and add her to my list of collaborators. I could then choose from the options on the side here to decide whether um, Claude could do the following activities. So the lowest level of permissions would be just that that this collaborator could view. Um, above that, they could comment on it and add comments at the side for me to think about, or we can both edit the document. Uh, and that way, you can still you can track and see who has done what and who's made what changes. So it's a very quick way of sharing um, and inviting collaborators. As you can see here, this will notify people by email, and I can even further um, personalize the message by adding a further message in there. And all I would do is then share and save in order to increase the number of people who can collaborate with me on this document. I'm going to come out of this particular document and if I hover over next to the title of my document, I've got a link to come back into my drive, which keeps all of my files and folders. Let's just explore that a little bit more. Here you can see all the uh, 
various items that I might have. And clearly over time, this list could get very cluttered and I could end up with lots and lots of files. So there's a convenient little filter at the top here where I can start to sh sort my files, perhaps by their title or by the date that I um, created them. I can also um, change the way they display, having them displaying as a grid, so I can very quickly look through what my documents look like and go directly to them. The beauty of this system is that I don't have to remember lots and lots of paths to find my documents. I can very quickly see where they are and click into them and join, uh, find out more and continue to edit. So I would highly recommend exploring Google Apps for Education, certainly uh, from the perspective of collaborating to produce a document. If I just come back to the uh, file I just created, so let's go through the recent filter. Here's my file. It's not very big, but here's my file. So say i would now got lots and lots of text coming together here. What I can do with this document is to come to File, and amongst the list of things here, you can see I can download this file. And I can choose which format I want to download it. So if I want it to end up as a Word document, I can save it as a Word document. If I want to, it to end up in something that's no longer editable, I can choose a PDF document as well. So lots and lots of options, but really useful for the phase between having an idea and bringing that idea to fruition, where you need people to collaborate and talk about something. So please do experiment, find out more about it, and if you haven't yet got um, an email account for the Warwick Language Domain in Google Apps for Education, all you need to do is get in touch with us and we will sort that out for you.